say Diana Bowden, and she will talk about Look for Care. And you can give her applause. <laughs> service for families to find best child care provider. Uh, there are 50 million families with small kids in Europe and more than half of these parents are working full time. There are three big need for extra help but finding good nanny whom you can trust is time consuming and quite complicated. Also there are take care, summer camps, hobby classes, and parents must be choose between them. But it is so hard to choose if you don't have enough data or comparison. But how we solve this problem? The 95% of parents say that they trust friend recommendation much more than any official background check. So why not to do two metrics? One is general rating where every user can put five-star feedback and some comment, and then personal match rate, that we will calculate every parent and every service provider how much they match socially. We will take mapping all parent friends. We will look in what these friends are preferring, what they're doing, whom they prefer, whom they don't like, and put the blacklist. And so we can match really perfectly and fastly, child care companies, people, and families. And now you say that, okay, it's a really cool idea, and my wife likes it, but where is money? But do you know, this number, 50 billion euro, is child care market in Europe, and it is growing market. So, there are quite a lot of money, and there are a lot of parents who want to feel safe and want to feel that their kids are safe. And there are companies who want to spread information and they need to do it every month, every year. And there are no communication channels for it. And there are out there and many agencies who need to recruit faster. We have first market group because we have here in Estonia prototype up. First year there was approximately 3,000 transactions Last part that we have had some paid service and there have been more than 200 paying customers. But no question that market is big, need is big, but uh, who are competitors? In, in Europe right now there are not so big competitors. There are in every country 10 to 100 different small communities, small service airports where info moves. But in the US, there are two really strong companies, Gear.com and SitaCity.com. They have together raised more than, uh, almost 100 million for developing service. And Gear.com lately announced that they start to expand and they have launched the site in UK. But in the current moment, it can be a really advantage that we are a small startup and we can look what market needs and act according to it and that we are not so big company who has put their strategies down in year 2006 and have too many investors on board and can't change direction. Because care.com and sintaxity.com don't use social media opportunities at all right now. Our business model is franchise. We want to set up pages together with local communities. We will provide technical solution and support and these communities can offer to their users services. And they get some small revenue from every service that they sell to their users. So these are usually mom-driven communities. And they will be really happy to have technical solution without any development process and some revenue for it, because currently most of them are only hoping for banners. And as you know, banners are not lasting too long. But we are one to do now is uh, to take our service to next level. We need to develop all the social part of our service 
and we want to expand to Scandinavia and put this in other markets our service. For it, we need seed money, 50,000 euros, and it should be together with good know-how about Scandinavian web consumer markets. And our teams, there are more people, but main key person are me, as I have IT background, I'm mom of twins, and also I have a strong project management background. And Eero is by education, business administration, and 20 years IT experience. Thank you. Yes. Have any questions, comments? You told several times your service, but what is your service really? Okay, good question. <laughs> Our service is to just help uh, filter this all information what is around nannies to make nanny database, childcare database. Our service is to help find best childcare option. How? We are first we are listing all nannies, all child cares and other things in this area. Then we start to collect ratings and then we also bring this social match to mapping through Facebook first, these networks, later maybe Twitter, LinkedIn or any other social media. And we try to find let's say we have first algorithm how to put it really good match. But probably we need to analyze data at least one, two years, and then I can say how exactly is best match done. But all is based on data, and all is based is a personal approach. So I like this nanny who my friend likes much more definitely than some nanny who is going around the street. And I think that was, was my question. Yes. Yeah, uh, 50,000 save money is not very much. Uh, what are you applying to the problem? Uh, we are uh, planning to complete uh, first this whole network, how to say, bring all data because currently we have this Facebook connection and bringing this friend connection, but we need a little bit more development in this area and we don't have resources for it right now. And the other thing is that we want to set up one cooperation site in every country in Scandinavia. In probably in Finland, this Vauva fee would be really attractive or Mumot.v. And there are also other sites in uh, Sweden and Norway also. Can you elaborate a bit on this social match here in um, Social match, let's say that here are also in this room some people who are in my friend list in Facebook. And most of you are not. So let's imagine that we are all going to database and everybody, first we want to put button like, dislike. And you can go like, we'll go your like, list, dislike, they will not show you anymore. Already with these activities, you will give some, let's say, DNA to every, like, virtual DNA to every nanny. And if I compare all what is doing my friends, or what doing everything else, then this will be different. Because, for example, if I'm Ökoma, for example, I like all this, you know, only organic food, papers, you know, and probably I have also my friends quite similar. Then it's probably these friends, what they like, gives much better comparison what I start to like. And this data, it's why it's important to map my local. Because there can be somebody who everybody likes, but I just don't like. So have been. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yes, Ali. <laughs> I have a question. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, first of all, uh, is it correct? I'm as a customer paid to you to use this website to find a good money for my kid. Uh, you know, it's best place, it's freemium. So you will come, you get basic listing free. So you will see uh, is there nannies in your area. But if you already want your social matching, your common friends, then you will start paying, yes. Okay, but or if I was also what? There's a mobile uh, for, uh, for fee as well. Ah, uh, mobile, yes, contact. Uh, you can only send a message uh, free. Yes. So, where from do you get the money if I just want to use all this free? Yes, but you can only look info and you can send message through our network, but you don't get extra information. Okay. For example, do you want, we have, what it was, 1,600, 700, somewhere around nannies in database. How much you will pay if I will say how many of these nannies are somebody who your friends know it? But I think, why should I pay you if I can open my phone uh, um, book and uh, to call all my friends who have kids? Uh, do you have kids? 
I have kids. And how, let's say, how many friends uh, you think that they can propose you nanny who can come in uh, a certain hour of the morning? Because, yes. Yeah, I'm just thinking that uh, I have friends. Yes. I had a problem with my problem. Yes. And uh, I called my friends and uh, I asked for their help. And just, just a yes, no, it is, and it is really traditional way, I have done it the same. <laughs> but after calling five friends, seven o'clock in the morning, <laughs> two of them, and then, okay, you get somebody that please come, I really need you today. But must it be so complicated? Shouldn't it be, I will go to this site, I look who are in my favorite list, I will send this one click SMS, and then I go and make porridge to my kids, and then I wait just from SMS that, okay, which nanny will go, uh, say that mm -hmm. she can take kids today? Okay, thank you. I don't like it. <laughs> Me. Yeah, partly I got the answer to my question. Okay. <laughs> All of the money is coming, as I understand, from... Uh, it's uh, coming in different ways. For example, yes, for families it is premium service. Mm -hmm. So that you get this convenient. For takers, for example, we want to make all listing that uh, rating, if I want to go as parent to rates, then I can rate also companies who are not paying yet. But we will put on map, as our solution is this map, quite important to all filtering. Then we're putting on map and showing only these companies who have paid for us to membership fee. And also there are different ways to nannies that they can buy them their CV free. If I'm professional nanny, I need really 24-7 job all the time. Then I buy this free, then all parents see all my contact information without they need to buy premium. And I get more calls. Well, the reason why I was asking, because I really agree with the gentleman who earlier said that uh, with 50,000, that there's probably not much you can do in Scandinavian countries. As I understand, you need a team who works. That's no, the but it is beauty of this thing. This community is what I'm hunting are there already 10 years, 15 years in internet. From first day when women discovered the internet and say, oh, I can talk about pregnancy. And this telephone has been also from last century here. And there are a lot of women around it, but they are so basic IT solutions that they have usually forum, some gallery, and maybe, maybe some blog uh, model to, for newsfeed. But they don't have practical services and they want it. But usually, as the Estonian pedagogue is driven by Estonian Midwives Association, believe me, midwives don't know nothing about development. They even don't want to think that they need to start thinking about development. And it is reason why it's not taking so much marketing expenses for us to go to Scandinavia. I know every country, three, three communities, and I, just development is not so far to go there that we can set up it with day. Sounds like good business. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I still, I probably, probably answered this a couple of times before, but what if my practical steps you need to take to be profitable? Now, if I invest with this, what do I expect you to do? So, in, in, in practice, I think, I think it, it's kind of a legitimate question. 50,000 is uh, very little. <coughs> 50,000 is seen money to prove all this market concept because uh, then after that we need to decide so we want to move fast or not because if we prove it in Scandinavia then I believe that even some men start to do babysitter startup as soon as <laughs> you know, the startups going but what we need now is really is, um, just some IT guys three months working on code to make it safe to make this all radio files we are still having password changed in as well. Just we need to so the new my experience, 50,000, uh, as an IT guy, doesn't get you very far. Uh, let's say it's that we have biggest database in Estonia. We have almost 2,000 nannies. We had visitor, uh, 50,000 unique visitors last year. And most of this has been done by my IT boy working one day in week and and no money on it. So yes, I believe if you give me 50,000, I can do quite a lot of things. <laughs> so it's just, uh, you can't go and you can't buy banners and then big newspaper charts. But it's a topic but you get PR, blog posts. It is good area. It is 
simpler markets and maybe it seems but are not so needed. Okay, let's take one more question and then we will continue with our presentation. And afterwards, Diana will be here and you can ask more questions and give your comments. But before our last question, I have a question to Mary. Mary, is, can we turn the heat down? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the last question. Uh, are you lazy? Why Finland? Um, why Finland? <laughs> you mean uh, why Germany? Germany? Why not Germany or any other? Yes, I have that, that is a very good question. Because uh, it's, this is a really difficult question. Because I know Finland market, I'm a little bit understand Scandinavian or zero. Because I want to test this market in an area where I can be really near and be active as soon as there's something starting. I don't understand German dynamics so well. So we want to test first in countries what, what we know. If it's proven, then next will be Germany, because it's good market, I agree. <laughs>